Hi, we are from At Home Tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on adding and subtracting two digit numbers using 10 into 10 number grid. The question is, find my food. Try these on Kitto's home. Okay. Hey, I have something more interesting for you. Ma told me, there are sweets to eat in some rooms. Help me find that rooms okay so the given is 10 into 10 number grid so in this 10 into 10 number grid we have 10 rows okay and then 10 columns each number in one box so here 1 to 10 is the one first row then 11 to 20 is the second row 21 to 30 is the third row then for 31 to 40 is fourth row 41 to 50 is fifth row and then 51 to 60 is 6th row, 61 to 70 is 7th row, 71 to 80 is 8th row, 81 to 90 is 9th row and 91 to 100 is the last row that is 10th row. So each row you will have 10 numbers and you have 10 columns and 10 rows. So you will call it as 10 into 10 number grid. Okay. So now we will see the first question. So the first question is 10 less than 34 is dash. Okay. Now we will see how to find the answer using number grid. Okay. So now if you look into the number grid, this we will call it as Kitto's home. So now the given is 10 less than 34. So you have to start from the number 34. Okay. And it is given 10 less. So you have to reduce 10 numbers. Okay. That is you have to go 10 step backwards. Okay. So like this. So it is 34 means 10 step back. 1, 2, 3, then 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 step backwards. So instead of counting like this 10 step backwards, we can directly jump into the next row that is the row below this 34 row because one row contains 10 numbers. So if you subtract 10, you can directly jump to the below row. Okay, so 34, the below row is 24. Okay, so 10 less than 34 is 24. This we can also find by using this subtraction. So 34 minus 10 is 4 minus 0 is 4 and then 3 minus 1 is 2. So thus 10 less than 34 is 24. The next question is 53 minus 20 equal to dash. Okay, so again we are going to find using the number grid. So now 53 minus 20. So we have to start from the number 53 in the number grid. So it is given minus. So we have to go below. That is we have to reduce. We have to go 20 step backwards. So as said in the first question, instead of counting backwards, we are jumping row wise. So here if it is 20 means you have to jump two rows because one row has 10 numbers here we are subtracting from 20 so we have to jump for two rows so if you jump one row it will be 43 then if you jump the second row it will be 33 so 53 minus 20 is 33 so this we can also found by using subtraction 53 minus 20 so here 3 minus 0 is 3 and then 5 minus 2 is 3 so thus 53 minus 20 is 33 the next question is 11 more than 31 is dash. Okay. So now 11 more than 31. Now we have to start from the number 31 and it is given more than 31. So you have to go forward counting. You have to add it. Okay. So now 11 is given. So 11 you can write it in the form of 10 plus 1. So if it is 10 means you can jump one row and if it is 1 means you can jump to the next number in the right because it is given increasing order in the right direction. Okay, So you have to jump it in the right. Okay, So now 31 plus 10 we are jumping one row so you will be 41 then you have to add one more so you are moving right one number so that is 42. So 11 more than 31 is 42. So this we will found by using addition also. So 31 plus 11 is 1 plus 1, 2. Then 3 plus 1 is 4. So thus 11 more than 31 is 42. 
11 less than 66 is dash is our next question. Okay. So, now 11 less than 66. So, we have to start from the number 66 and it is less than. So, we have to reduce 11 numbers from 66. So, instead of going for backward counting to 11 numbers, what we are doing is 11, we are writing it as 10 plus 1. Because in one row we have 10 numbers. So, first we are jumping for 10. So, if you have to jump one row to subtract 10, that is you have to reduce 10, we have to subtract one row because one row has 10 numbers. Okay. So, now if it is 66, then we have to jump one row, then now we will be in the number 56. So, now it is 11 reduce. So, we have to reduce one more number. So, we are moving one more digit to the left because the, all the numbers are in increasing order from left to right. So, we want to reduce it. So, we are moving towards left. Okay, so now 66, one row jumped, it is 56, then we are moving one row left, one number left, that is 55. Okay, so 11 less than 66 is 55. So now we can find the same using subtraction. So 66 less 11 means you have to subtract 11. So 66 minus 11 is 6 minus 1 is 5, 6 minus 1 is 5. So it's 55. So thus 11 less than 66 is 55. The next number given is 62 plus 13 equal to dash. Okay. So now we look into the Kittu's home. That's our number grid. So we have to start from the number 62. It's here. Okay, so then plus, so we want to add, so we want to go up. Okay, so we have to go in the forward. So then we have to go, how many digits? 13 digits you have to move. So instead of counting in forward 13 digits, what we are doing, first we are moving 10 digit and then we are go moving 3 digits. Okay, so to move 10 digits, we have to jump one row up. Because one row has 10 numbers, we can easily jump one row up. So, our number will be 72. If you jump from 62, one row up, you will get 72. Then you have to add again 3 digits, right? Because it is 10 plus 3, that is 13. So, now we have to move in the right. Okay, because it is increasing order in the right, we have to move right 3 digits. So, 1, 2, 3. So, it will be 75. So, the 62 plus 13 is 75. The same we can found using the addition. 62 plus 13, 2 plus 3 is 5, 6 plus 1 is 7, so it is 75. The 62 plus 13 is 75. The next question is 23 less than 89 is dash. Okay, so 23 less than 89. So we have to start from the number 89 and we have to less 23. So less means we have to go for backward, that is we have to move downwards in the grid by 23 digits. So, instead of counting backward for 23 digits, what we are doing is, first we are moving in the grid for 10s and then we are moving in the 3s. Okay, so 2 10s and then we have to move 3 digits. So, if you move 2 digits down, that is you have to move 20 down. So, you have to jump 2 rows down. We are in 89. If you jump 2 rows down, you will be in 69. Then you have to reduce again 3. So, if you want to reduce, you have to move towards the left 3 digits. Okay, because the numbers are in increasing order. So, to decrease the number, you have to move left. So, 3 digits. So, now we are in 69. We are moving 3 digits. 1, 2, 3. So, now we are in 66. That is 23 less than 89 is 66. So, we will check our answer using subtraction. So, 89 minus 23, 9 minus 3 is 6, 8 minus 2 is 6, so it is 66. So, thus 23 less than 89 is 66. Hope you have understood how to add or subtract given numbers using number grid, that is 10 into 10 number grid. Thank you for watching the video.